Hi everyone. In this video I will show you how to make such an effect. It's quite simple. I will show you. First we need to create a shader with Fresnel. I will use shader graph for this. Just create a unlit shader. Uh, you can find the shader graph in the package manager. Then open the shader and uh, set surface stripe to transparent and render face to boss. You can make a separate window for the shader and use uh, a scene as a preview for the shader. Uh, create a new particle system, uh, set emission rate of time to zero, uh, boost uh, one particle, uh, speed zero, lifetime two, duration 1.5, um, color of light time set the similar um, uh, gradient on uh, 20 and 80 percent then um, um, where is particle okay set size to 3 uh, change shape to sphere and set uh, radius to 0 and uh, uh, select the uh, uh, mesh sphere and uh, set render alignment to local. Now you can add a material directory from this uh, shader. You can close graph editor and uh, add the Fresnel effect. As you see, it only works uh, for the front uh, side. So you need to add uh, node face, is, is front face, and then add uh, a branch. I put uh, Fresnel to the true input and add uh, this to alpha input, alpha output. Also, if you want to make intersection with walls and the ground, just uh, add uh, the similar group of nodes and uh, add this uh, to the Fresnel. And uh, let's see the result. Now we have this uh, line uh, on the ground. Uh, you can uh, add some value uh, to control uh, this uh, line line thickness, and uh, you can uh, change it uh, in the material. Also, multiply all of this with a vertex color opacity. Uh, to control uh, opacity from the particle system, just uh, multiply it only with uh, alpha using uh, a split node and uh, add this uh, to alpha. Now you can see a smooth uh, transitions is because uh, particle system lifetime lifetime is two. Duration is 1.5 and uh, we set this uh, smooth curve, this uh, smooth gradient. You can also add a float va value to control Fresnel uh, power. So add this value here. And now you can control this value from the material. I think uh, 2 is good. Let's add uh, some fire to the shield. Uh, create uh, a new texture 2D, uh, name it main texture, uh, then add another texture, I will name it noise, uh, then add uh, this and this uh, uh, to this board and uh, create a sample texture. Uh, to the copy it uh, using Ctrl C Ctrl V and uh, multiply this uh, to textures. Multiply, multiply, and uh, 
you can also multiply it uh, with uh, some value. Uh, uh, I will name it uh, texture opacity, and uh, I will uh, set this value to to one point zero point four. Uh, to make uh, Fresnel more bright and uh, texture not so bright as a Fresnel. Add this uh, to opacity, but uh, then use uh, saturate node. Because if the value uh, below 1, uh, that can cause some weird artifacts. So uh, it's left to select uh, some textures. Uh, I will use uh, gra gradient uh, uh, to make texture works only on on the sides, not on the not only on the top. And uh, use uh, any noise uh, that uh, you have. For example, I will use uh, this noise. But if you don't have any noise, just go to the effect texture maker side, uh, select, for example, this type of noise or another, uh, enable tiling, and uh, just save it. Now let's add the textures to base color, add the maximum node, uh, put the texture and uh, and uh, uh, first now and uh, depth value uh, depth values uh, uh, to maximum uh, then use uh, multiply and uh, multiply it with uh, some emission value uh, for example uh, for example I will set it uh, to 6 and uh, then multiply it with uh, is vertex color and uh, add this to base color uh, i will uh, use uh, just uh, regular file fire color you can make it more red or more yellow you can also add a distortion for the noise. Just add uh, another texture node. I will call it flow. Then uh, add the uh, texture sample node. Uh, then use only red and green value and multiply it with, multiply it with, with uh, uh, some float value with that. Uh, will be our distortion power and uh, uh, connect it uh, to the UV using uh, tiling offset node then subtract uh, uh, this uh, value from UV now we can uh, add uh, some we can add uh, another noise and uh, use uh, this uh, value for the distortion also we can create uh, a new vector 4 node uh, for using it uh, for the uh, speed and uh, uh, use uh, vector two nodes to create uh, uh, different uh, uh, speeds for the flow and for the noise. Then multiply it uh, with uh, time, just a simple time node. Uh, you can copy it uh, again for the flow. Uh, and uh, put uh, it to offset and uh, make the same for f 
for the flow. Now you can set speed values that uh, will be uh, best uh, with your noises. Also, you can enable um, talent and offset for uh, your textures. Press save and uh, now you can change talent. You can uh, select any noise you want. I think uh, every noise with uh, uh, good uh, black and white uh, range uh, will be good for this effect. I if you see that it's uh, very uh, very shiny, you can just uh, decrease the emission value. The second part, the fire around the sphere, we will made using Embergen. To do this, open a uh, simple project, delete this unnecessary node, change simulation size to uh, 300, uh, 300, uh, 180. Uh, voxel size change to 0 0.5, apply. Uh, now uh, change uh, uh, shape uh, uh, to 45 meters. Uh, change position uh, to 0, change uh, the simulation, zero position to center. Uh, then uh, go to the uh, gravity, gravity and uh, change gravity force to zero. You can disable solid ground, uh, change uh, uh, additional pressure rate to 100 and uh, random to 20. Uh, set uh, ran random pressure seed. Change smoke rate to uh, 50. We can make this ring thinner using uh, emission gradient, set it uh, to 0 0.5 and temperature to 10,000. Now we can uh, see smaller circle. We can we can also decrease uh, simulation simulation for example for example to uh, to these values. And uh, okay. Uh, also, go to simulation and uh, change uh, flame intensity to twenty. Temper temperature dissipation to uh, sixty. Smoke dissipation to ninety flames. Uh, ninety fuel. Fifty. Uh, okay, we, we can also change uh, the noise, mm, change scale to maybe 3.7, um, change 3, um, what else we can change, and amplitude 6, oh, now we have a better result. Also. Also, we can change uh, this noise, just uh, uh, make the scale bigger and uh, this value also made, make bigger. Uh, okay, so now we can put our camera uh, on the top. Uh, just go to your camera settings and uh, uh, set copy from active change the pitch angle to uh, to minus 90 uh, and the set position to zero here and also zero and here just to fit the circle uh, now uh, you can uh, you can uh, set uh, frame stride two you can uh, select your hold, folder directory to render this uh, animation and um, go to the simulation tab, uh, set uh, loop simulation um, and uh, that's all. We have a, a perfect fire to render, but also you can uh, 
um, you can uh, add the uh, make the noise uh, more interesting Mm -hmm. Maybe smaller size. Yes, yeah, it's better. And uh, press uh, export. I get this Avesa looping animation. Just uh, set the uh, alpha's transparency, create a new material. Uh, then uh, uh, select uh, particles, uh, standard uh, unlit uh, shader, change uh, uh, rendering mode to fade, uh, enable soft particles, uh, enable to size, uh, add uh, your texture, uh, then uh, create new particle system, effect particle system, uh, change shape to sphere, radius zero, set speed to zero, uh, set emission to one particle uh, also select this material it has um, uh, 60 uh, 64 frames eight and eight uh, eight rows eight columns uh, change uh, radius to fit uh, uh, to fit this uh, sphere um, you can change uh, the lifetime um, and uh, you can uh, set color of over lifetime this gradient uh, okay i think uh, it's better to make the circle smaller um, set uh, max particle size to 32 because if you if we left five it will be smaller uh, when we when we will be close to the hero. Uh, now it's okay. You can also increase the emission value. Mm, maybe a little bit darker. Um, and set. Uh, render alignment to pacing and that's all we had uh, we have this amazing uh, fire shield effect uh, that's all for today uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, see you in the next videos bye, -bye.